I started uh, in the 70s. I loved antiques and I opened an antique shop. And it seemed like every day somebody that came in and said, do you have any old dolls? So I sort of got interested in learning about them and reading about them. And uh, I became fascinated, really. There's so much history to the dolls that people don't realize. I mean, it goes back almost to the beginning of time. And um, it's still very popular. A lot of the real collectors, so to speak, though, in this day and age are beginning to die off. So it's not, the young people today are not interested in collecting, unfortunately. Today, it's down to we're one in 20 in the United States. So uh, the interest, though, I think is still there. It's just that the world has changed so, and there's so many things to do and places to go that people are not as interested in staying at home and collecting and reading and all that sort of thing. You know, I really don't know. The way the world's changing and with all the computers and laptops and everything else, I think everybody's getting very um, mechanical, I guess you might say. Uh, whereas before, people stayed at home more, you know, gave them projects to do. I build a dollhouse or um, make mini tours and all that sort of thing. The main thing was trying to get financing. Uh, at the time, I was, of course, married and uh, had children. Went to the bank. I wanted to borrow $500. And they said, oh no, we can't. You, your mother, your wife, you don't have any experience. We can't loan you any money. So I went to three different banks. Finally, I went to South Trust, which was the bank here. And a young lady had just started. Uh, and she said, I'm going to loan you the $500 on a 90-day note, which they don't do anymore. And she said, if you don't pay me back, I'm going to come find you. <laughs> so uh, she loaned me the 500 uh, at the end of the 30 day, uh, the three months, I went back and paid it, and I said, now could I borrow a thousand? <laughs> she let me have it, so it just really revolved that way to the point where I got or could carry it itself, you know. One thing, I know a lady came in and she loved uh, a doll, a particular doll, when she was a little girl and had gotten thrown away, and she was so happy to find one, you know, and that, oh, she said, I had one of these when I was a little girl and I've never seen one since. And it was like going back home, you know, or going back to her childhood that she remembered playing with it and all the joy she had from it. And uh, so that was kind of neat. The room in there is basically your Madame Alexander dolls, which is one of the more popular doll companies. It's been around for a long, long time in their 20s. And um, so people love to come look at that and see some that they had when they were young. And grandmothers love it because they can buy stuff for their grandchildren. Uh, the miniature room probably is the most popular. So some of the furniture we have here is Best Pack. The gentleman who started Best Pack, it doesn't exist anymore, but, and he's not alive, but he based a lot of things on museum pieces. So we have some amazing furnitures, more for the adult collector, not for the three-year-old. But see this piece right here? These four pieces, see the crown on top? That is actually an exact rep replica of Prince George's, you know, the first royal in the modern era of Prince, of Prince George's bedroom suite. What else is really cool? You see our plants? Right here. Right. So Mary Charles has been in business for 40 years, so she went to a lot of uh, trade shows and everything else and picked up a lot of these pieces. Uh, in this room we've just sort of got a little hodgepodge of uh, collector dolls and doll clothes for the American Girl and some of the other baby dolls that children have. Uh, on the porch we try to display some of our unusual doll houses and things that are not made anymore that are very rare to come across, you know. Uh, we sort of offer just a little bit of everything. I mean, it's not just one particular thing. It's just a little bit of everything. I hope that when I'm gone that uh, I don't know that my children necessarily will carry on with it, but I would hope somebody would because it, it is history. It really is. Everything in here has something to do with years and years ago. And uh, 
so many times we sort of forget that, you know, that that's where we came from. And that's how most all of this got started, really. Uh, back in the, what do you call the early, early years of, they made dolls out of sticks, you know, and uh, then there are other dolls that don't look like anything, and don't look like they would be worth anything, but they do have a very, they're very rare, and they're hard to find, and there's something that maybe wasn't much made out of it, you know. Uh, but I hope that somebody does continue to do this, because it is very interesting, it's educational, uh, and it's just, a, it's a fun thing to do, really.